Kinder Scout, the one name in the Peak District guaranteed to set pulses racing. At 2,000 feet, it's the highest point, yet it's no summit in the normal sense. Just a flat wilderness of high moorland. Sodden peat, but with a rock escarpment. The ridge is everything the moor cannot be, and Kinder Scout leapt to fame in the 1930s as a symbol of the public's right to roam Britain's open countryside. Angry walkers stormed up these slopes in a mass trespass, determined to make landowners see the light. Today, a plaque celebrates those heady days, which led eventually to the formation of the national parks of England and Wales. Now the ridge of Kinder Scout draws people by the thousand. It is part of the Pennine Way long-distance footpath, now, ironically, too popular for its own good. Slabs are helicoptered in to fight erosion of the soft, peaty moorland over these dark peak hills. But they cannot detract from the rugged beauty of the horseshoe escarpment embracing a reservoir, and this walk, from Hayfield on the west side, is the very best way of savouring both. It begins with a long climb east, through fields. The green arrows point downhill. It turns north to rise steadily, staying below the ridge for a mile and a half. It comes up to meet the top path just before the downfall, continues round the edge and drops down into delightful William Clough heading back by the reservoir shore. Like the mass trespass pioneers, the walk starts from Bowden Bridge, now the site of a car park about a mile north of Hayfield. Our walkers are Sheila and John. Leave the car park across the bridge, past the campsite entrance, and follow the road as it bends right with a stream on the left. In a few hundred yards, at a junction, now with a stream on the right, take the middle track through the stone gateway. It brings you immediately to the grassy hillsides of Tunstead House Farm.